How are y'all tonight? Hopefully everybody's doing well. It is time for Bow Tuesday. I'm sorry I missed last Thursday. This stomach bug has been going around in my house. And Ross had it first, then I had it, now my mom has it. It's not fun. Okay. So, we're going to be doing a birdhouse. And I made a sign to match the little ribbon. Look. <laughs> Isn't that cute? See a little, little birdhouse. Uh, and I also had somebody who sent me a picture and asked me to show them how to do a bow. So we're going to do that as well. But first things first, let me show you what the ribbons are in the bow set this week. So we have a green. I'm going to put y'all down so you can see. So we have a green and a tan, and then we have the birdhouse and some flowers. The flowers, they're like little daisies. They match the little birdhouse daisies. So, I thought that would be fun. Yeah. All right. Woo, and it is hot in here, and Bella is not feeling well at all today. I don't really know what's going on. I think we may have to go see the old vet tomorrow. But maybe she'll perk up and feel better by tomorrow. Hopefully so. All right. So I really like this ribbon because it has all these different bright colors in it. I really like that. It's a really nice, and it, it has almost like, it looks like a burlapy background. It's really cute. I'm good, how are you? So we'll start off with this. A little burlapy tan color. You did, you just bought the Easy Bow Maker. We have 200 more coming. So, let's flip this around this way. All right, I don't know why I don't really have a roll, but. <laughs> Okay, so let's do a 12 inch tail. Okay. Just like that. So I'll go to the mark on the bow maker where I want to go. So six inch, we're gonna do six inch. Well, we're gonna do like, let's do like six and a half. So six and a half inches. Okay. Six and a half inches. And what I do, when I get to the center, I put it down sideways, and then I twist it. Okay. So sideways, and then twist. Okay. So we're going to do three. There we go. On that third one. There's no need to twist it because you're just going to come right out with the tail. Okay. And y'all, excuse my fan over here, but it is really hot. It's hot here. I don't know about where y'all are, but it's hot. It's like in the high 70s. So, all right, so then we're going to come in with our green, start to bring some of our color in. So we just fold it over and to get a dovetail what we do is we're going to cut right towards that wire and then you get this nice little detail okay so put it in twist okay again twist so we're doing the six and a half again this time we're only going to do two so this would be, if you hear three, two, one, this is what this is. What that means is three loops, two loops, and then we'll put one on top. Three, two, one. Of course, we have a lot of ribbon when we do these bow sets, so of course, we're gonna add more on. Okay, there we go. 
and I will be live tomorrow night doing a wreath. I think Thursday is probably going to be recorded because I'm going to Sims for their floral show. And I'm super excited. All right, so here is our little daisy. Look how fun that ribbon is. Isn't that fun? I love that. Okay, so pull it. We're just going to do one with this. Six and a half again. Okay. Then we're going to do one with our little birdhouses. This one should also be a good one to get it to curl. My table is, um, I think my table is 72 by 36. I want to say it's 72 by, or 72 by 30. So we want this to be the same length as well. All right, so these birdhouses We've got to twist one of them. So you can see, you see how the birdhouses are going in different ways. And y'all see? Y'all see? So we've got to take one and flip it. So whichever one you want, we just want them to go in the same direction. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll change it up. So now we'll go in with the green and then the tan on top. One of the reasons I do this is because when you're doing bows, especially when you're doing it with a measured amount of ribbon, you can stagger them and then you get more, like you get more, your ribbon goes farther, in other words. So I'll go shorter tails on this and I'll go to five and a half. So I'll just kind of pull it aside and see. You see how these are really twisted right there in the middle? When we break the bow, that's going to fix that. Okay, so I think these are the same, but I can pull them up and see that they are. Oh, and I have to tell y'all. So I got this fabulous deal on wreath frames last year. They never came in. I mean, I got an amazing deal on them, like a lot lower than they normally are. They finally came in. So I just went ahead and listed them at the low price. And so the wreath frames are $4 and I think they're $4.50. And I will tell you, I can't even buy them from my wholesaler at that price anymore. So get them before they're gone. Because once they're gone, I won't have any more at that price. They'll go right back up. So they're actually selling them, like my price is higher than $4.50 now. Mama's not feeling so great today. She got the flu bug that I had last week. The stomach bug, I should say. So we did three. Now we're going to do two. We're still doing five and a half. <clears throat> this ribbon right here, this tan ribbon, this is denim ribbon. If you see those in my description, it's very stiff canvas ribbon. This is my favorite to work with because it's just so easy. <coughs> just ignore my little allergy stuff going on. I have broken several bones in my body. It is not fun. All right. So I love, super love this ribbon. It's just fun. So we'll do the same thing again with this one. Okay. Five and a half. Five and a half. You see how thick this is, right? This bow, it's pretty thick. But 
there's a reason. So this kind of bow, a nice big bow like this, I would use this on a, like a grapevine wreath. They kind of need a larger bow, especially if you're not going to put like a lot of florals and things on it. If you're just really going to be some florals and mostly bow or bow and a sign, then I'll go for a bigger bow. So we're going to flip this one. Okay. Then we'll take our zip tie. We'll go under one side. And I want to make sure all of the tails are still in there. Because with a big bow like this, it can be easy to lose it. Thank you. So when you have your zip tie started, you want to reach down to the bottom and pull it out. So that zip tie keeps it from coming apart, but you still want to pull it all the way from the bottom as far down as you can get. And then you want to look, see where that indention is. Lightly hold one side, run it around. Make sure it stays in that indention. Otherwise, your loops are not gonna stay the size you made them. And that's very frustrating. Okay. So I always check them before I make it really tight, especially these last two. Okay. And then I'll put a little pipe cleaner in there. And I'm gonna pull it really tight as tight as I get it. Ugh. So you can see how it's like kind of stuck in here, how it gets a little bit like bent and really jammed in there. Oh my goodness, well good luck on your surgery. Alright, so then I'll pull and twist. Oh, and we made a new apron today that says, time for some wreath therapy. I need to make myself one. Okay, so we're going to go from the bottom to the top, breaking our bow. And all we're doing is twisting it, right? Back and forth like this. And what that does is that allows you to get that from being stuck in the middle. Because it wants to... It wants to get stuck down there. Okay. This also helps you to get the loops more where you want them to be. Because they tend to get a little stubborn sometimes. Okay. I just pulled my tails out so I can see a little better. So pretty. Now we can run our hands under all the tails, especially this one. Look at that. Like that. Okay. See how big and juicy that is? Okay. So, turn this off. Now, I make mine tight enough that you usually can't see the zip tie that's in there. If you can, just take a piece of this, cut it into a little strip, and just tie it right around where that zip tie is. I pull mine pretty tight so you can't usually tell, but sometimes. All right, so I said this was a good size for a grapevine, right? So we kind of looked at this a little bit last week. I thought we'd do it again. So here, see? You see how nice and big this is on a grapevine? Let's see if I can open y'all up a little. See that? <clears throat> so we can get some curls going. So all I do is take it, use my thumbs, 
pull it out. This also makes a really great way to fluff your bow. So if you're ever struggling to fluff your bow, put it on a grapevine wreath and it makes it a little bit easier so that you can pull it around. And just get everything where you want. There we go. I want that one to just kind of do its curl. I just kind of refluff. Pull these kind of opposites like this. See how cute that is? And then all you have to do is take a little sign, put it on the other side, and boom, you have a wreath. You don't always have to put a lot on a grapevine wreath. You can just put a sign and a bow. And there are a lot of people who like just a sign and a bow. They don't like a whole bunch of stuff. You can take some of your ribbon that you have left over, you can do tails out the top, you can do tails in the side, you can do longer tails at the bottom. So just remember, you don't always have to have a ton of stuff to make a wreath. I just thought it would be fun to kind of show you that. All right. Now let's see if we can make that bow that it was sent to me. This would be really cute so you have this sign you could get like a like a little bird house and put a little bird house on there that would be cute okay you can see we used a lot of ribbon you wouldn't you don't have to use that much i like to use that much <laughs> thank you okay so the ribbon the bow that was sent to me <clears throat> the way we're going to do this bow is we're going to start a little bit differently. We're going to cut like, let's do like a 24 inch piece. Okay. Isn't it? I, I had a lot of fun making that sign. My husband is very, very into birds. <laughs> he is very into birds. And I call it, he has this whole thing outside, um, our window in the kitchen and I call it the bird spa <laughs> because y'all the birds have um, like they have literally like six places they can eat bird food and then he has like little watering thing and he has like a um, you know the little oh what do you call it the the little bird baths and <laughs> all this other stuff it just cracks me up. All right. So the way I'm doing this bow is we're starting with the tails. So we did 24 inches. This just makes two nice tails. All right, so they'd be about 14 inches. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my loop down. I'm gonna have about an inch to spare out here. Okay, I'm just going the wrong way, okay. So I'm gonna twist it because the back side of this ribbon, okay, it's not gonna be nearly as noticeable as the front side. Wait, I wanna do it this way. There we go. Keep that down. So I want the back side showing. So we're gonna go six inches. The reason I do this is because I want my tails to be down here, not one up here and one down here. And the way this bow is, it's a little different, so it just works out better if you do it this way. Okay. So we're going to do three loops at six inches. This is especially cute if you're using one ribbon, so one type of ribbon. Okay. Three. Ah. And 
I have the picture in my head, so hopefully I remember exactly what it looks like. So we got our three loops here. Okay, pull them out. And then, so after you get your three loops on here, what you're gonna do now is the main center of the bow is gonna be in the center, like in the center of the bow. Yes, I can make round porch and pull sign. Yes, I can. All right, so we're still gonna stick with six inches. But what we're gonna do now, okay, is we're gonna go a little bit smaller. So what this looks like is almost like three loops in the center. So we went about an inch smaller, like that. And then you finish with a middle piece. So what I'll do is I'll have a middle piece that goes in the middle. You can do two smaller pieces. Let's do it that way. So two smaller pieces and then one middle piece. So the reason that we don't have our tails coming out is because I want this center loop to just cover all that up and I want my tails to come out at the same time. <laughs> I need a little bit bigger than that zip tie. <laughs> okay, so zip tie around the bottom. So you're gonna go on the side where that center loop is. Get it started. Pull it out. See, there's our indention. So pull our indention. And what's gonna happen is, the center loop is gonna cover right where we cut it off. Can you see? And so this is what this bow looks like. I wanna pull on it too much until I get the zip tie in it or I will mess it up. Okay, let's make sure we're good here. Yep. There we go. Just kind of spreading it out a little bit. So hopefully the person that sent this to me is watching. So we're going to tighten it really good. So now we're going to break the bow. So we got to twist and pull, twist and pull, twist and pull. This is the difference. This one that's in the middle needs to stay in the middle. Okay. So how you see how you can see the three, and then what you see is what's in the middle, like that. See, isn't that cool? Very different. Like that. What y'all think? Oh, color wheels are the best. I love color wheels. I have color wheels. You see? Isn't that cool? You don't have to do as many of the little top loops that I did. I just like that. I like how it looks like there's kind of two in the middle. Let me pull y'all up here. Ta-da! Like this. What we think? Different, right? This one, for some reason, wants to take a hiatus. We just gotta move it back. All right, there we go. All right. Back up. What do you mean, back up? You mean pull it back up so that I could y'all can see what I'm doing? Yes, I did that. 
Just making sure that's what you were asking me. You could do it either way. So your tails could come down this way. And because we did them separately, you could do it either way. You could even do one on each side. Like that. See? A little something different. Yeah. I like it. It's pretty. All right, y'all. So tomorrow night, I think we're going to do... I don't know. I think we're going to do the lemon or... We're going to do one with the um, new ribbon I got. Ugh. Let me show you this. Where'd I put that mesh? Ah, here it is. Look at this mesh we got. Ah. And look at this. I mean, come on. How cute is that? Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. Yeah, get the $4 frames because once they're gone... I'm not going to have that price again because I'm already having to pay more than that. But I wanted to, since I got it at such a savings, I just wanted to sell it at a savings because it will probably be a long time before we see that price again. Right? Awesome. Hey, Kathy. Alright, well, I hope you all have a wonderful night and I will see you guys tomorrow at 7, 8. I was about to say 7. At 8 o'clock. <laughs> Hopefully, Bella will perk up in the morning and I won't have to take her to the vet. But we'll see. Welcome to my porch sign with the wreath. Yes, I can. Hopefully, I'll remember that in the morning. Email me because I might forget. All right. Well, y'all have a great night. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, y'all.